so that is my amendment, but I am required to get a waiver from the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, and uh, I don't have that. So, Mr. Chairman, I hope that we can work together to try and make this amendment on the floor. If the, gen if, if, the, well, if the gentleman will yield under his time, let me just say I really appreciate uh, I, by the way, I noticed that the press really picked up when you started talking about incurred <laughs> cost audits. So now we're getting into, into the sexy stuff. Now, to be perfectly serious, I really appreciate the gentleman from New York's interest and commitment to working with me to try to make this whole audit situation better. And I absolutely agree that I want to work with the gentleman because of his background and expertise, as well as the gentleman from Texas because of his background and expertise to try to fine tune these provisions dealing with audit in the way that best benefits the taxpayer and the warfighter. That's the goal. And I, I fully acknowledge that there may need to be some tweaks in this uh, and some changes. I want to work with both gentlemen to do that. But as I, it, it is important. Uh, and if you look at part of the reason that is causing uh, the Department of Defense and the defense industry such problems right now, it goes back to uh, audits and, and audit practices that have not kept up with even other government departments. Uh, so um, I appreciate very much the gentle, both gentlemen and their interest in this, and, and I do think we can, we can work together on it. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman.